Hi guys, it is 95 degrees right now, so I thought what better time to do a garden tour. So let's do it. Here it is from the outside. Just did this outside bed this summer. And let's walk in. We're still waiting to get water out here, but that's what that's for. And here it is in all its glory. So let's start over here. These, this whole side is where I have all my tomatoes. These are my potatoes. I need to pull these out. Wonder if you can see. Oh, and there is a potato. <laughs> A giant potato, oh my god. All right, yes, I need to pull this out because it's starting to get eyes, which isn't good. So I have to come out and do this. Let's start over here. Right here is my sun gold tomatoes, as you can tell. Delicious. And then below them, I have my onions. They're ready to be pulled because their necks are uh, laying down. So I need to come out and do that as well. Really need to start training this. I have just have, from these tomatoes, just all these runners come out and I clipped a lot of them, but left a bunch. We have some basil and marigolds in between. That's another sun gold. This is a super sweet 100, as you can see one back there my borage plant got some parsley that is a pineapple tomato i believe they're all kind of falling over i need to come out here and train them up but i've got a bunch but none of them are ripe yet hopefully soon this parsley is bolted gotta pull that out my basil's looking a little brown it's flowering too which isn't good gotta get rid of those here's another big tomato and then these are all Cherokee purples let's see what do I have in between I do have some carrots below them but not, they're not doing much yet those ones I have 12 tomato plants in total here are my peppers don't see anything coming out of them yet, but hopefully soon. Those two seem to be doing better than those. Another <laughs> parsley that is bolted. I need to pull those. And I have some San Marzano tomatoes coming in here. Some more onions in front of them. Some basil. And like I said, these are potatoes. I have red, blue, and yellow. And then behind them, well, that's a weed. Oh, it's the really prickly one. I'm not gonna pull it until I have gloves. These are some beans and some strawberries. Got a bunch, actually. These are pretty big. And strawberries. And over here, are my carrots and they're actually doing pretty good yeah not too shabby so I got an orange let's see I think these are purple check yeah got some purple ones and some orange ones so I got those so I really need to pull these because there's a lot. And then I have my beets. And I'm actually going to eat some of these for dinner tonight. So I need to pull them as well. Let's see. Got that. Put that down there. I guess I'll take this one. Oh, came with a little one. That's fine. I don't think I have any yellow ones that are ready. 
Hmm. Not yet. Hopefully soon I'll have some yellow ones, mostly red ones, that are ready. I think those are good for now. And I have my thyme that all overwintered, which is great. That's a raspberry plant with a bunch of bags that I need to get rid of. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> and this is sweet potatoes, but they haven't really taken off yet. Here. They have not taken off yet, so I'm waiting on these guys. So I have a couple of them. And then here is my zucchini. And this, I don't want to say it's a fail, but it's just a lot more than I was anticipating. So here it is. I pulled in this morning, but oh gosh. I probably could pull that one and that one. Have some nasturtiums in there. Got some more coming in here. Oh, that one's pretty nice. And then more beans in here, but they were kind of just, I, I should not have planted them in between. And then, so my first year doing acorn squash, but I have a bunch of them all over this place. Let me see if I can get in here. There's one, I don't know if you can see, but that thing is huge. I don't think it's ready yet. I pulled one and it was, oh, there's another one hiding. I pulled one and it just wasn't yellow inside yet. Like I have to kick them to walk through here, which isn't good. Um, I have another one in here too. Just one growing in there. I, I'll have to take, I need, maybe I should put this down and show you how big it is compared to me. Crazy. So yeah, I have that that I'm kind of dealing with, or I don't know. It's not a fail, but I definitely wouldn't have three plants of each. So I have three zucchinis and three acorn squash. And then hidden, which I shouldn't have done either, are some shishito peppers. Let's see, where are ya? Some shishitos in here. So yeah, that's exciting. Parsley. And then these I need to pull because these are all bolted. This was lettuce. And I have some growing upstairs under my grow lights that I'm going to put in. But, so I need to take these out because these are all very bitter now. But I just haven't yet. And then for this, I have not grown until this year. These are my leeks. And they're doing... They're doing pretty good, I think. I've, I don't know. <laughs> I hope they are. They're, they're pretty big, but we'll see. Not sure when to pick those. And then this is my celery. Also huge. I don't think this is ready yet either, but also I'm, I'm doing that compared to like store-bought celery where it's much taller than this. So maybe I can pick it now. I don't know. Let me know if you know. <laughs> So yeah, that's, that's the whole garden. So celery, leeks, lettuce, squash, zucchini, ton of carrots, beets, sweet potatoes, thyme, potatoes, beans, strawberries, 12 tomato plants, and then a whole lot of onions. These all go, look, look how big these are. It's just, it's huge. <laughs> and yeah. So, uh, that's my garden, and I hope you guys like this little tour. Alright, see you soon. Bye!